Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you about the different polarities of water in your zodiac signs. I will not be talking about specific zodiac signs in relation to planets, but I'll let you guys figure that out by yourself. Uh, this is very specific to where your powers lie in your chart. So I'll be talking about rushing water signs still, and this is different information. This is completely uh, unorthodox, uh, very different information that will have you perceiving your sign very differently. Even if you're just going based off one sign, maybe it's your rising, maybe it's your, uh, doesn't even matter. This will just get you guys thinking and this will help you realize some of your gifts too. Now there's, I'm going to say right off the bat, there's rushing water signs, there's still water signs, there's frozen water signs. There's, uh, there's, uh, like I said, there's a whole bunch of different polarities. There's hot water signs and this helps you find out where your energetic gifts are at it helps you find out where your uh, your manifestation powers lie, uh, how you can connect to Mother Nature better. So I'm gonna tell you some really easy ways, and it might it might, might not even be in your uh, Western astrology. It could be in your Eastern astrology. It doesn't even matter. They both apply. So and maybe you don't know your astrology. That's fine. But it just could be whatever you relate to the most. And I'll teach you some cool crystals and how you can unlock some uh, cool throat chakra gifts because I just had about. The throat chakra yesterday, which I associate the throat the throat with water, even though it's it's time its sign is technically not water, so it's not easy for some people to learn about chakras in terms of elements because it confuses some people. So I'll just keep it very simple. Now, like I said, there's rushing waters, there's uh, evaporating water. So some people are very uh, in their head, but they're very emotional. But some people are, are more so able to speak their truth, and when they perceive there's uh, and this can help you crack some of your waters too. So technically the energies of the water goes from the sacral chakra. Although this will help you guys, it, I relate it to the throat as well. So this will really help you guys learn. So this will help you realize where your gifts are at, where you need to change, where you should change, where, uh, where you want to become better versus where you need to become better. Um, so let's get straight into it. Let's talk about hot water signs, or just actually, let's talk about regular water signs first. So water is, the element of water is fluid. The number I like to associate with water is six because when you do the number six, it's very fluid. It's just like whoosh. So there's different bodies of water on the earth, on this earth. Yes, there is rivers, there is lakes, there is uh, mountain waters, there's rushing streams, there's ponds. There's uh, ocean, I might repeat myself, but it's good for me to repeat myself. Uh, oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds, waterfalls. So there are uh, places where like the water is almost boiling on the earth, like geysers, Ooh, geysers shooting up out of the ground. Uh, just there's certain aspects of water. So there's clear water, there's uh, gunky water. So it really gets people thinking. It's like, look at all these different, pro look at how water could be so, uh, and water is the most versatile element as well. It's actually the world's most powerful drill. So you can watch that on, YouTube, on other videos on YouTube. So it's the most powerful drill. Water is amazing. It's just such a powerful element. And this, I'm just teaching about spiritual stuff, but I'm telling you this, I mean, water even in uh, science is a big thing too. So that's all I'll say. You guys can do your research because I'm not talking about anything physical in this video at all. Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video, but rushing water. Is the, so for, let's talk about, uh, hot waters first so some of you are like hot water zodiac signs or hot water uh even if it's not in your zodiac you might just feel uh a connection to hot waters or do you you might have that in your energy and you don't even know it so just start thinking about stuff i would, I would like you guys to think about the different landscapes of earth that god has made because god has made a beautiful beautiful earth with uh ponds lakes rivers so just think about in your head which one is your favorite which one is your favorite? If you could live next to one, what would it be? For me, it's the ocean, which I do live basically on the ocean. But for some people, it's rivers and lakes. And uh, some people would love to live on a lake. Some people would love to w live next to a waterfall. So just take your favorite and start maybe Googling, uh, Googling whatever kind of waters is around you or on Google, etc. And start Googling stuff of different pictures and it's like, okay, I resonate with the lake and the uh, the, the, the very slow moving waters around stones. So that, that represents you. That's an aspect of the subconscious mind that empowers you. So 
in my relation to my throat chakra video, I'm talking about these are actually elements of your throat chakra too. So you could be a hot speaker, like yeah, you could be a passion. People love to be around you just because you're so hot and full. I mean, when I say hot, it's like that person's energy is hot. It's like it's a warmth. It's people want to be around. It's like woo. Like, look at that energy like so let's talk about it because there are nice i'm not gonna get too deep into it but there's nice aspects of uh water and not so not not so nice aspects so there's nice aspects to warm water signs or hot water signs so for example uh geysers or you sit in a very warm spring of water and you're refreshed you feel good you're you're feeling purified you're feeling amazing but if it's a little too hot then it's kind of cooking you it's burning you it's kind of boning you it's like ugh, what's this so there's a warm water to where it's refreshing and where it's nice to be around and there's a boiling water as to this is too much you could be on all fire chart watching this video and you know what i'm talking about you might have some water but you're the boiling water kind so people will be around you and you're like i love the way this person speaks i love their voice but sometimes when you approach people, sometimes when you're around people, sometimes when you speak, it's a little too much. So you do have to take it down. I'm not saying that to be mean or offend people, but you have to know where your strengths and your weaknesses lie to be able to improve the, the weaknesses into strengths. So if you know that you're in, if you're an intense energy, you might just be like the world's shortest, smallest person, but you might just have this fiery energy where people feel it from like a mile away. So you walk up to them and if you let that fire, and like let the, uh, the boiling waters out, people are like, gotta run. But versus you, you slowly, inch, and you don't let the waters boil, you let it, just let it be warm and refreshing. People, when they talk to you, like, I like this person's energy. Like, this person's energy is cool. So, a uh, good example of boiling waters uh, versus hot water. So, this is the hot water sign of the aspect. So, there's the boiling, and then there's the warm, refreshing. So, people will want to be around you, people will gravitate towards you, etc. So, apply that in your own zodiac or in your own subconscious or what you feel like you relate to the most. Now let's talk about the frozen water signs because some people have like a very cold element in their chart. But the thing is, this has different polarities too. This is super interesting, right? It is. So this video will be titled, what kind of water sign are you? Ooh, or what kind of water is in your chart or gift set or whatever, etc. So you could be around people and maybe you're just, a, you don't even know you're a cold water sign. Maybe you're someone who you love being around cold water. You love ice baths. Uh, you love cold beverages and this is just you and you're like oh that's me that's me that's me that's me you're getting all excited to watch my video like yeah that's me so there's different polarities to this one too so let's just say and like i said warm could be refreshing and cool could be refreshing yeah <laughs> so people could be around you and just think about the energies of peppermint so hot water side i'm gonna use ginger as an example when you eat when you smell ginger it's nice but too much or like too much ginger with a little bit of cayenne is like it's not nice so it's about a balance. It's all balance. It's all about a beautiful balance through the most high God. Now, uh, when it comes to cool waters or cold waters, uh, he leads me beside the still waters that just pop into my head. He restores my soul. Uh, it's popping into my head now, but uh, this is an amazing video. Cold water signs. So maybe you just like the energy of peppermint. It's nice. It's cool. It's refreshing. Come it just calms people down you're around people and people are like well, you know they're just gonna uh gravitate towards you because they feel refreshed they feel like this minty energy they feel like this uh and peppermint is like mm -hmm, i feel good versus too much peppermint it's like ah my eyes burn <laughs> 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 so yeah so <laughs> well, i'm like well i guess both signs can be a burn but this because cold can burn too ice can burn it's called a frost burn that's a real thing so the the if you're a frozen water sign people when they come around you they're just like oh this is just cool they calm down they refresh they might talk a little less but they might talk a little more they might just feel better because they're around you and they feel refreshed and cool like if it's a hot summer day and you you cool them down it's like now they want to be around you now people actually gravitate towards you when you talk people want to listen etc it's refreshing when they have to hear what you have to say and you communicate very beautifully and fluidly so that's more of a cold water so let's just say it's really hot outside you get in the cold waters so now you're refreshed you feel good same thing versus you get into the waters and it's so freezing it's almost hot it's super uncomfortable so let me talk about some of the emotional aspects so when you're that cool person that peppermint energy you're calming people down 
people are going to be attracted to you, like heavily attracted to you, because the, the elements of uh, ice and being cold is attractive, especially when everything around you is warm or hot. So you're going to you're going to stick out. Uh, so when it comes to freezing, it's like it could be hot outside, but if you get in the freezing waters, it's like okay, this is kind of worse. It's just been, it's kind of torturous. So if you're someone who is so cold, you're just kind of you kind of get mean to people, mean with people. And you're like mm, you hold grudges because ice is about holding capturing petrifying things freezing them in time you got all these uh i'm gonna say all the goofy people on youtube doing freezer spells not knowing what they're doing when they're freezing themselves but uh freezing themselves into, into time which i'm telling you guys stay away from some of the uh most actually yeah all the stuff that you see on youtube oh these people are doing all these different kind of spells if it's not through the most high god and you're not praying to them and asking for help you're going to the enemy to do that you're flat out going through the enemy to do that and that's why there's so much chaos so most people are like, oh, I'm going to work with this, this and that. Yeah, you're getting a demon on the other side and you're messing yourselves up because you have no idea what you're doing and you're taking all this karma. But back to the topic of this video about frozen waters because people know what I'm talking about. Straight back to the topic. Frozen waters. And I'll make a video about that in the future. So frozen waters, people are like, it's, if it's too cold, people are like uncomfortable. They're freezing. They're like, oh, what's this? They'll try to skedaddle, get away because it's too cold. Same thing when it comes to relationships or friendships. If you're too cold, it's just like, ooh, it's freezing. Uh, no one's going to say that. One. But the thing is, cold and the right temperature, if it's really cold, it can pre preserve stuff. So it'll preserve the good aspects about yourself. So if you're a frozen water sign with the more of the polarities of being extra cold, then you preserve your emotions. You preserve what's right. But if it gets too cold, like below freezing, now you're cold to the point where uh, people think that you have a dark heart, etc., um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to get too deep into that because there's different aspects of water I like to teach about in this video. But the freezing water signs, if you get too freezing, then it's not good. If you get uh, too hot, then it's not good. So those are the two aspects of the water signs I'll teach about. Let's talk about some of the more, uh, and like I said, there could be a neutral water sign, which maybe you're just a neutral water sign. But on some days you're a hot water sign. Sometimes you're a cold water sign. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's talk about rushing waters because this there's a lot to this video. So the rushing waters versus still waters. This is really interesting. So let's just say you're someone with all this energy. Yeah, let's go. Let's get this done. That's especially of the sacral chakra. Chris is like carnelian. So aquamarine is the crystal of this video. Aquamarine barrel, which I'll have on floridastomian.com with amethyst is, and amethyst is a great gift enhancer as well. So aquamarine, and I'll show you my gem aquamarine. Uh, there it is. It almost looks like glass because it's so high grade. Let me try to get the sun to shine through it. It's museum grade. It's luxury grade. It's some. It's a grade I can't replicate. Uh, but let's talk about the rushing water. So some people just have this energy like, yeah, let's go. So rushing waters versus the still waters, it could relate to how you speak as a person. Maybe you speak, you're too strong. Like how, how I said earlier, it could be it could be too strong versus too, uh, too low. So the rushing waters, yeah. Some people are just like this energy like, let's go. And some people are just like, <laughs> so like i said there's no there neither are bad there's no such thing as like bad until it's unbalanced there's a thing there's a thing called unbalanced when it comes to in the relation of the uh the polarity of your what kind of water sign you are so you can be extremely balanced and be a very very hot water sign that's okay as long as you're balanced if it's not burning people and you're fine so the rushing water same thing rushing water is on the river rushing waters provides electricity in science Disclaimer, this is a spiritual video. You can do, I mean, we learned that in middle school and in tech, in middle school textbooks. So that's just obvious information. You can power stuff with water. So let's just say you're you're powering through your projects. You're powering through what you have to do. You're just this rushing water that it's it's leaving an impact on other people. Maybe you're motivating, your waters are actually pushing other people. Maybe people would not have left the house if it wasn't for you. You're just this rushing water energy that's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's, it's so motivating. This energy is just coming. And it's, it's picking people up and it's moving stuff forward and it's getting it's good for financial abundance it's good for breaking blockages it's good for manifestation and it's good but what happens when the waters are too much rushing natural disaster it's a natural disaster so things are getting destroyed uh rushing waters when you're paddling the boat or uh rowboat down the river it's good because it's moving the boat but too much it pushes the boat over it knocks the boat off it drowns the people it's drowning people now and now it's flat out drowning people it's flooding down the river so 
preserve that energy if you have that created it's the same thing with hot waters like like i said there's different polarities and this video is super interesting same thing with hot waters you have to balance it russian if you're a russian water sign uh and this this doesn't mean you're rushing out the door but they have i mean russian water signs more so have a tendency or ru rushing water uh energy people have energy to be in a rush very often versus uh like I said, this is it's not a bad thing to be a Russian water sign because it's good because you're motivating people, but you have to keep it in check. Make sure the waters are not destroying things. Now, my last thing I'll talk about in this video, because I'll make future videos on this, uh, is the still water sign. Maybe you like to be at home. Maybe you like to relax. Maybe you're a very low-spoken person. That's okay. Everyone's different. God made everyone completely different. If God wanted to make everyone the same, this world would not be... This There would be nothing interesting about the world no one would want to be here so god is created this beautiful earth exactly how he wanted to he made people very different because he that's exactly what he wanted to make people different and diverse and for people to multiply and and it's god made this world so beautiful let's talk about the still water sign because it's the last thing i'm talking about in this video you could be a very still person like you maybe you wait for the time is right to do stuff maybe you're just patient maybe instead of her doing a hundred million things you're just you're calm you're cool you're collect but uh and sometimes things can come to people who are patient although the downsides to being a uh a still water sign sometimes you have to take a little more initiative sometimes the water gets too still so if you're the still water in the lake all these fish are thriving but if it's too still and there's no activity going on to keep the fish alive then they start uh going they start going i can't say the word on youtube they start going but still water sign more so has bless i mean one more so chase i mean not chase after blessings one pursues the blessings one kind of is patient for the blessings it's good to be both it's good to be both it's good to have different polarities it's good to be adaptable still water sign you're very patient uh things come to you but it can stagnancy can occur on the flip side when it comes to a rushing water sign uh too much action can occur to where things get crazy versus still water sign the downside is uh not downside like the other polarity is that stagnancy can occur occur uh, sir uh stagnancy can occur so this is really interesting information so still water sign you're probably more collected probably more calm very good with people uh you're very understanding you're very compassionate rushing waters like let's go let's get this you're motivating people you're uplifting people you're getting people going uh you're able to accomplish things still water sign things come to you but if you wait too much sometimes they don't so you have to kind of stir the waters or get the life in the waters again so like i said there's different polarities hot water sign people find you to be hot and it's sometimes refreshing when you're in this freezing cold outside and people you take uh warm water and you're like oh this feels good it's like a warm shower after a long day it's like it's cleansing it's cleaning it's good to be around but too hot it's just like it's burns same thing with frozen water sign and like i said this could, you don't even have to be a water sign for this video to apply to you just have, might have water in your chart and this still applies to you so we're talking about the sacral and, and throat chakras here mainly so solar plexus chakra too but we're not going in the in the category of chakras or planets because you see how long this video talk takes for me to talk about uh, different polarities of different water signs but you can be a mix of more than one of these if you have any questions ask in the comment section check out floridastoneman.com speaking of water app the world's best aquamarine coming to the website keep checking floridastoneman.com i'm putting stuff on there every single day until then i'll see you guys next time ciao